God is going to be doing something strange in your home. He's going to be settling you in this service. You have heard the word of God. The word of God has come to you. Amen. And as the world comes, everything about you will change. Everything about your marriage will change. Am I talking to somebody? Every arrow directed at that hope to cause you this harmony. That arrow goes back to the senders. Every arrow sent to you to cause you discomfort. That arrow goes back to the senders. Anyone that is sent to kill you, God will kill that person. In the name of Jesus Christ. Godliness is leaving your phone at the center of the table in your room. And you are bathing in the bedroom. And the phone rings and you tell your wife to pick it. Do you understand godliness? Yes, Leaving your phone at the center table and you are in the bedroom and it's ringing and you tell your husband, I have text message, honey. Please read the text message for me. Godliness is your wife knowing the code to your phone and your husband knowing the code to your phone. Godliness is talking to everybody on your phone or her in the presence of your husband or your wife. So, this covenant family day, let's go like this. Free yourself from suspicion. May you not die young. Are you hearing me? See, I told this my wife one day. We just, I told her, I said, oh, anything you are suspecting me for, or if you are suspecting me, calm down, baby. I said, if I do bad, bad things, Namigo, go ahead. It's not you. So why are you troubling yourself? I don't want you to have high blood pressure. Because if you have high blood pressure, you die young, you go heaven. And then God, he said, he was cheating on me. He was just doing me. God will say he was cheating on you. And that's why you died. God will say you are very stupid. Did I not tell you that each and every one of us shall give account of ourselves to me? Why are you looking at him? And were you not taught by my servants on the world that life is a race of individuality? Did I not also say through my son Jesus Christ... That there's no marriage here in heaven. Oh yeah, go back to the word. I have not completed. Go back. So don't carry high blood pressure for nothing. Free yourself from suspicion. If you suspect too much, you yourself you are a suspect. Some. You yourself, you are what? If you suspect too much, you are a suspect. Proverbs 31, verse 11 to 12. A virtuous woman, look at it. Free yourself. See, you can't monitor a whole human being. You, you can't. The best thing you can do for your wife is to pray for her. The heart of her husband doth safely trust in her so that he shall have no need of spoil. She or he will do him good all the days of their life. So calm down. Calm what? Calm down. Another one. You must be a ruler in your home. By the time a whole man is telling another man or his friend, I bet help me talk to my wife. You have lost your leadership in the home. The woman, when you know fit talk for again, is no longer your wife. And you, you are not a good ruler. I've never told anybody in this world since I married this girl for almost 27 years now to help me talk to her. I did fear her when I not go fit talk to her. I go open my red eyes. 
ask her. When you toast them 27 years ago, you know fear. Now, on a down day, you de fear. First Peter chapter 3, verse 7, he said, He ruled, ruled his house well. Amen. A man, likewise, your husband, dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel. So if God say the woman is the weaker vessel, you too, you are weak. Weak, weaker, weaker. So he must, he must ride on this template. Hide under Jesus the head, you that is weak, and then look at the weaker with care. You are telling your wife, why are you doing like a woman? Is she not a woman? Where did she be before? <laughs> no, man. No, be like that. She is the weaker person. First Peter chapter 3, verse 4. You must be a ruler. Am I talking to somebody? Talking about the leader. The leader in the house. First Timothy, sorry. 3, verse 4. To be a leader, as a leader, one of the templates that you must ride on as a husband, one that ruled well his own house, having his children in subjection with all gravity. Did you see that? Abba. See, let me tell you. Hmm? The third point I want to give you that you must run your life and your home according to the word. You see. The reason why there's a problem in your home is that you are running your home according to tradition. Tradition, no, they said. It's not tradition that made marriage. It's God that instituted marriage. Run your marriage according to the word of God. John chapter 1 verse 3. All things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made. All things, including marriage, were made by God. If you don't rule your marriage according to the dictates of the word of God, you are running it according to tradition, there will be problem and crisis. Wicked, evil tradition that tells you when a woman does this, you go kill goat, the one that white, white hair on the, at the center of the head. Happy? But when you do, you know the key. Evil tradition that, that subjects women the man is free to gallivant, but the woman must not. In our tradition, you know, you this, 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 that. As a Christian, that's not correct. That's not what? It's according to the word of God. God started it. And if you want, it, want to succeed in it, resort to God. Can I hear an amen to that? He uphold all things by the word of his power. Are you hearing me now? Run your life, your home, according to the word of God. Not according to tradition. Nobody can come and tell me anything about my wife now. Is it in our culture? Which culture? Culture is good if it aligns with the word of God. Do you know that it was traditionalists that killed Jesus? Do you think they were not Christians? The way to peace and tranquility in your life is to rule your life through the word of God. In him is life. And the life is the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness. And darkness cannot comprehend. And I hear an amen to that. The word of God. He said, let it dwell richly in your heart. And who is the word of God? Jesus. When you start running your life and your family, according to the details of the word of God, Jesus sits as the head over your life. And then, every pie you make at home, 
the family will respond. Because you are under cover. You are under Jesus and they are under you. That's how it works. You will succeed. I'm not hearing your amen. amen. I hope you saw the definition of godliness that I defined. Leaving your phone as a woman or husband at the center of your room. And you text message come in and then you are in the bedroom. Say, honey, please read that text message for me. I want to hear it in my ear. And then he, he read it. You see, it's, 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 it's somebody. He said it's comfort. He said that he's missing you. <laughs> and then you will now explain. You understand? You now explain. <laughs> the code to your phone, your wife knows it. The code of your ATM, your wife knows it. That's godliness. <laughs> what, what is godliness? My wife knowing the code to my phone. So that when you die <laughs> and go, she doesn't need letter of administration. He will go and be drawing it 1150 every day. <laughs> Until he finish. Within the time that the ATM <laughs> uh, under, under three months, she don't collect like 30 million. <laughs> Every day, transferring it to another account. No need to go to bank. That's godliness. Say godliness. <laughs> Did you see the definition of godliness? Oh, that's it. Openness before God and man. Glory to God. Your family is connected to Christ. Godliness. Amen. Run a godly family and you will enjoy the goodness of the Lord. Godly goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life. Run a godly family and you will enjoy the goodness of the Lord. That's it. When we call it covenant family day, it is covenant because you are operating according to the dictates of the word of God. So what God says he will do, he will be doing it automatically in your home. He will be doing it what? Automatically in your home. You'll be enjoying yourself. Everything. And then of course, let me add this one quickly. Be a giving family. Don't pray to marry a rich man. If you are not yet married here, all of you looking at me. When you are not a giver, you will dry him up. Are you, did you hear what I said? You are a stingy babe. And then you are looking for a prosperous man. You need a walk like that. Likes, he gets like. You too will marry a stingy man. A virtuous woman is a giving woman. Am I talking to somebody? The virtuous woman, one of the CV is that she is a giving woman. Proverbs 31 20. Oh, yeah, let's read it together. She stretched out her hand to the poor. Yea, she reached forth her hands to the needy. Did you see that? My wife was asking me last three weeks the, the suit that I'm not using and the shoe. I said, yes, it's good. I quickly brought them out. So let it be vice by sign. You two, the things that you are not using, bring them out. They want to give it to one young son like that. Brought shoes out. The boy's leg not enter the shoe because his leg too big. <laughs> So you see now. So it's not our fault again. The suit enter, but the shoes no enter. <laughs> Go and wear palm. <laughs> if they don't see your size in shoes again, 
be a giver. Amen? Givers. They give to life and life gives back to them. Takers take from life and life takes back from them. What you don't put into life, you cannot get from life. See, you don't know where those your children that you were born will be tomorrow. And then they will reap the reward of, the, of your magnanimity somewhere. Am I talking to somebody? He that watereth shall be watered. What you make happen for others, God will make happen for your children somewhere. There will be a time those children, no matter how well you have taken care of them, they will be in need. And then somebody will step out. Take the case of Mephibosheth and David as your mantra, a case in study. The good that who? Jonathan. Amen? The good he did to David. Mephibosheth, no matter how crippled he was, repeat back. There are some good things that your parents did. Now you go inherit them. You are not saying amen. You don't believe. So do good now. It's a seed. Because life revolves around seed, time, and harvest. It's a seed. And you will repay tomorrow. So, quickly, don't carry a mentality of ancestral cause. Don't carry a mentality of ancestral cause. That there is something in our family that is happening. That is still happening to you now. No. You are no longer in that family. Am I talking to somebody? You now belong to the family of God. Whatever contamination you contacted outside. When you partake of the communion. You are free from it. I'm not hearing your amen. So no more. Will you be talking of in our man, in our family, this, this, this that used to happen and is happening to me now? No. A connection to Christ cuts you away from the negative family umbilical cord. What happened to your sisters? What happened to your auntie? What happened to your uncles? In the negative things cannot happen to you. Think of reaping positive things that happen to them. No negative things. Why is the devil always showing you negative things? Why do you always dream negative dreams? Anytime you dream, them, you dream anything negative, it's not from God. Wake up and cross your leg and throw it in the trash, in the trash and sleep again. And scatter your leg. If they burn you, will bring another dream. Nonsense. Stupid. And then when they ask you, what happened? You just woke up and you are stupid, calling somebody stupid. Say it's the devil. Just give me one kind of stupid dream. Now it's stupid. Return it back to senders and sleep again. It's not your portion. Negative dreams is not your portion. I'm not hearing your amen. It cannot happen to you. Because you are now in Christ. All things have passed away. Everything has become new. Let your amen be the loud. Yeah. Your God passed them. Your God is greater than them. You are now in Christ. That's why I said, you don't say you are big, big, big. No. If there is big, there is bigger. Right? And if there is bigger, there is biggest. That's where we should place God. The highest of all. You are biggest, biggest, biggest. You are largest, largest, largest. You are greatest, greatest, greatest. You are the greatest God. That's where you should put God. That's where you should put God. Anytime you are challenged in your marriage, in your family, Size it up with the biggest God. If this problem not pass God, you're not going to kill me. Like I said in the first and the second service, be determined to make your marriage work, no matter the arrows. It is the enemy that is sending arrows of disunity, strife, and disagreement. 
Stand up. Return it back to senders. When you smile in your home and you are prospering, Satan is not happy. His agents are not happy. It's not your husband. Your husband is not your problem. Amen. It's the devil that is whining you against him. Your wife is not your problem. It's the devil that is whining you against her. He's an idiot. Satan shows you where the problem isn't. So that you can be fighting the thing that is not it. Be wise enough. And be smart enough to say no. You can't deceive me. You can't confuse me. Glory to God. So, in the first service, we said, be determined to make your marriage work. Be a good manager of your home, your resources, even your wife. For the singles, don't be desperate. Don't make yourself a liability. For husband and wife, be responsible. For wife, most especially, keep your tongue so that your mouth will not swear. For the single babes, be approachable and receptive. Amen? Let people toast you. There's nothing wrong. It shows you, you are still very fine. Everything about your beauty is radiating. There are some people since January, nobody has toasted them. Go and find out. I've, I've, I've seen some sisters... Who toasted you since January? He said, nobody. I said, something is wrong. I said, even unbelievers? He said, no. I said, then something is wrong with you. <laughs> they don't worry you since January. Till now, something is wrong. Even Mama Sarah, they worry her. <laughs> How can you say nobody toasted you since January till now? Babes, something is wrong, though. I'm telling you now, you need to use this communion to, to correct all the wrong. They must toast you. Because your market, they sell. So they must what? Toast you. Worry you. Do you? In one corner. As you they shake, they go. Respond by saying hi. <laughs> that hi means I know they say. <laughs> and move on. Praise God. Praise God. That's how it works. He said the glory of the Lord shall be seen upon you. Glory attracts both the good, the bad, and the ugly. That's why Satan comes to church. Glory attracts all manner. You don't know? Throw a good net in the river. It will catch all manner. Copion inclusive. <laughs> and it will be among the shrimps. And you won't know. All manner. So be yourself. You know what you want. Be focused. You know where you are going to. Don't be agitated. Now they are disturbing you. Let them disturb you. Glory to God. To disturb you is normal. Say that. Babes, say that. To disturb me is normal. Salvation is the only escape for your family's freedom. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 3. How shall we escape? Remember your brother and pray for him. Remember your sister and pray for him. Remember your husband and pray for, her, for him. That's all you need, your husband need. Not all this waka waka. No suspicion, please. Prayer transcends generations. Prayer touches animate and inanimate objects. Prayer reaches the unrich. Prayer goes farther than you can ever go. Prayer can touch somebody right on the street of New York if it's the person you are targeting. Prayer can touch somebody right inside the house in a compound in Asia if it's the person you are targeting. Prayer 
is transcontinental. It reaches anywhere. That's the best you owe a man. If you can pray for somebody, you are doing the best for that person. If you give the person money, he will use it. It will finish. If you pray for the person, he will go with him for life. The prayer my father prayed for me is selling today, even when my father has gone since 2015, after 97 years. He's still selling till today. The man who prayed the prayer, I don't go. Abraham prayed for us. And we are enjoying the prayer today. Pray and prayer goes far, farther, and farthest. Where you cannot reach, it will reach there. That's why you should treasure prayer. That's why I'm calling you to come to Covenant Hour of Prayer regularly. If that is what we do together every day, we don't need any other all through the day. We are done. No small, small prayer meetings again. That's enough for us. One hour every morning. But we have to pray together. Because if the prayer of one righteous man are very much, prayer of hundreds of righteous men, I don't know the English I will put. Let me, let me say then, it avails much. Or it avails muchest. I can speak any English here. Don't tell me anything. If you, you Google, you may not see it. This is kingdom English. So pray without season. That's what we are called to do. Am I talking to somebody? Pray for your wife. Pray for your husband. Pray for your children. Pray for everybody around you. That's the best you will do for them. Can I hear an amen to that? Amen. So, we have to, we should plead for mercy for our various families, for the breaking of every cause associated with serving other gods. Do you know, let me tell you, all this one that all of you, you just hear one scripture, especially our sister churches, they won't let somebody rest. You need a cover hair. They wear trousers. If they, now they wear earrings. If they wear earrings. You, you make me laugh. Sometimes when I go for evangelism, I just, I just bring down their, their, their senses in a very matured and <laughs> in a grand style. I say, you, now what for you? We they we drop is on go self. When did, we, we, all our parents were Oromila is on go. One traditional God worshiper. All of us. Is it not 1960, the colonial masters, before they came? They are the ones that brought Christianity to us. Right? They brought Christianity now. They gave us the Bible now and removed uh, Ogun from our hand. Okay. As a bros, you they think. Oh. So, you see us, we selfish for Africa. Because you don't know John 3, 16 now, the whole Asia go go here. Because they know they cover hair. Because then they wear trousers. The whole Americans go go hair. Because then they wear trousers. Because they know they cover hair. The whole Europeans go go hair. So only you. When no John Dan, you go go hair. You see as you selfish. You see as you selfish. If you read that first Peter chapter 2, from verse that 7 down, you will see the covering of hair issue. Well answered simply by Peter. Let it not be the plating of hair, adorning, or wearing of apparel. Let it be the hidden man of the heart. In that which Sarah called his husband, Lord. I say, okay, man can tell you another one. Even Jesus said, now gown Jesus they wear. That one not be woman dress. I say, okay, okay, bros, bros, bros. One of them will say, sir, you just tell me things. I say, yes. Now me read this Bible past you. You don't know anything. 
This, this trouser and covering of hair when you they argue with people, so when they come preach to you, now you're waiting your pastor tell you. You never one day search your Bible. I said, I don't read I, this thing, I they eat them, not my food. Now my what? I said, okay, okay. Which one be man dressed, self? Which one be woman dressed? The real Jew, the real Jew, the real Jew, they wear trousers. If you see the way the Muslim women dress, that is the average, that is how the Jews dress. That's how they dress. So what are you telling us? Study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman that need not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth. A man of knowledge increases strength. Nobody can toss a man of knowledge around. No God, you know life. No God, you rule well. No God, you lead well as a husband and as a wife. Your home will experience peace from this hour. Yeah.